So we're going to go through uh, one of the most uh, general questions that they always ask when it comes to uh, two-dimensional graphs, and which is to find the graph of an equation okay, that passes through the points negative 4, 6, and points 2, 2. We're referring to uh, uh, lines here. So we're going to find out what is the equation of this line that passes through these two points. So you're trying to figure out, hmm, how do you do that? Okay. So we, we discussed before that one of the most important things about every single line is there's a slope. So you need to find the slope first. Okay. So the first thing you do is remember the equation m, m which is slope always in algebra, delta y over delta x, which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. So change in y, rise over run, change in y, we're changing x. And y2 for here we'll use 2 minus 6, which is y1, okay? And then we're going to go to x2 now, which will be negative 2 minus negative 4. So this will help me find the slope. 2 minus 6 will be negative 4. Negative 2 minus, uh, minus a negative 4, so you get plus plus, right? So you'll get. 2, and negative 4, you can reduce that, so you just get negative 2. So now I know the slope is negative 2. So what I do is now I'm going to put it into the point slope formula, and this is a very important formula to remember, which is basically y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay? They call it the point slope formula. And what this formula really is used for is you can find the equation for any line if you have one point on a line, right? Think about it. If you have one point on a line and you know what the slope is, you can tell what, what the line looks like, right? Any point on a line and you know what the slope is, is always going to be a fixed line. There's only one possibility. So this is what this is for. So what this means is that y minus y1, y1 refers to the y coordinate of that point, and x1 refers to the x coordinate of that point, okay? And m, of course, is the slope, like I, I mentioned. So all you gotta do is just plug it into the equation, okay? So it'll be y minus, okay? You can choose either point. I mean, you know both points are on this graph, so I generally like the smaller numbers and no fractions it means this is easier to calculate. So let me pick this point. You can pick this one too. You'll see it's the same answer. No matter if you use negative 4, 6 here or negative 2, 2 here, you're going to get the same answer. So let's do the uh, 2, 2 one. Let's use point. We're going to use 2, 2, 2, negative 2, 2 as our point, okay, for here. So y minus what? 2 equals the slope is negative 2 times x minus uh, uh, x1, so it's really minus a uh, minus negative 2, okay? So you can have y minus 2 equals that, and what do you do? You just do that plus plus, right? It's minus minus, so save a step. So let's distribute this first, okay? Negative 2 times 2 will be negative 4, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, okay? And then now you got this, so you let's add two on both sides. Okay? So now you get y equals negative 2x minus 2. And this they call it the slope intercept form. Now, some teachers, when they ask for the slope intercept form, is always in this format, and I'll write it in the blue color so you can see the equations. Y equals mx plus b format, they call it. And this is the slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b, which is y equals negative 2x minus 2. So when people ask you, oh, so what's the slope for this equation? All you got to do is see negative 2 in this, in this slope intercept form. The slope is negative 2 because it's m. Remember, m is slope. And then B, you'll notice it's, the, it's called the y-intercept, and we're going to go over that in the next lesson plan, x and y-intercept, how to find it. 
And there's two formats, actually. This is the slope-intercept form. And I do want to briefly uh, go over what they call the standard form really quick, in case they ask you that. And what that really, really is, is that it's in this format. Let me use the... It's AX plus BY equals a C format. So all you got to do is just get the x and y on one side. So let's use this as the example. So if you have y equals negative 2x minus 2, all you got to do is add 2x on both sides, right? And you'll get 2x plus y equals negative 2. And then they call that the standard form. So let's do a quick review, okay? Find a graph or equation that passed through the points negative four, six, negative 4, 6, and negative 2, 2. So first of all, you find a slope, you can see here, okay? After you find a slope, now you put in the point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1, okay? And then you just use any of the points, okay, from the graph, because it, this is a point slope formula, you can use any point, it doesn't matter. You can use, you know, if there's a three points, you just use one of them, it doesn't matter. You plug it in here, and then I solved for the slope-intercept form. Half the teachers I know will ask you for the slope-intercept form, and the other half will ask you for the standard form. I'm personally a big fan of the slope form, because it gives you more information than the standard form. But the, learn both ways, in case you know they might ask you both of them, both ways, so just learn both of them. So this is how you find the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b, that's the slope-intercept form. Okay. If they ask you for the standard form, you have to make sure you're in the format ax plus b, y equals c. You see. It's in a format now, ax plus by equals c. So a is 2, b is 1, because it's 1y, and c is negative 2. So now you learned how to find a linear equation when you have two points on the graph. And the next thing we're going to learn is uh, learning how to find x and y intercepts.